Intercontinental GT. Yeah. Let me see. What can I compare skirt, to skirt. the GT? I need something that I haven't did in the last car a car talk because I, I I I talk about the building Continental all the time in the car talks because that's that's my baby. But repair costs. That's another story. We're going to get into this. And once I figure out a car to go against the Bentley Continental GT. I'm not a big fan of two doors. I'm not either. Um, like that that did, yeah. yeah. I picked, this is nice, though, the GT. Yeah, I picked the GT over the, mm -hmm. the Flying Spur. So you have the Bentley Flying Spur, and then you have the, the Bentley Continental GT, which is the two-door sport version of it. Same as, like, they have for the S-Class. The CLS tends to be more of the... The sport version of the S, the the S class, and that's why I would like the new S class. But I can't put the, I just I already used the uh, the the bins and stuff against the Continental before, so I gotta think of something that's fresh, something that's different, something that's even new. Mm -hmm. Uh, hmm, and that's a hard one. That's a hard one. Let me see, I, cause I gotta think of something I haven't chose already to go against it. Mm. Yeah. What about? Infinity? No, that's no, because no, that's gonna be easy. Yeah, that's too yeah, easy. Yeah. That's too easy. You you gonna pick a Bentley over that? I know I would. You know, now unless you can do the Audi A7. The Audi oh, A8. the RS7. The RS7, yeah, that shit. Man. That shit man. Cause you got the A7, and then you got the RS7. They you look the same. You can't compare compare a Bentley Continental to a. Audi A7, uh, bro. I don't know, bro. You have you seen an RS7? Not an A7, an RS7. Okay, that's different. It's, they look the same body style, but it has a little more sport package on it, mm -hmm. and it's and it's fast, it's bro. Fast. That thing it's is fast. fast. And now I just did the review on Bandman's Audi A, A, uh, A8L uh -huh. W12. That thing has a refrigerator in the back. You see what I'm saying? And it's got reclining seats in the back. Uh -huh. And that's an Audi. So mm -hmm. I like. I think you could you could compare it mm. compare them two against each other because yeah because they're oh, luxury, luxury and speed, <laughs> yeah luxury and speed so I say RS seven over the the Bentley Continental now that's a little difficult for me but where, where, where is you going where, where where would you go with it um, by me not knowing much about those kind of cars I would probably pick the Bentley Continental because it's more of a common name yeah there's, there's no I mean I I love um, Audi but. I really couldn't compare the A7 to the Continental, but you just said the RS7. Mm -hmm. So I don't know much but about that car. RS7, okay, so the RS7 and the A7, you could look them up. They look the same. Mm -hmm. They look the same. Body, it's, it's the one that has like, it is, it's almost like the Panamera, like the Panamera with the swoop, like a hunchback almost. They look the same, but the RS7 has a bigger engine. It's a V8 that's in there. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and the front bumper is a little different, a little more aggressive. And, but it's fast. It's super fast. And it's a, it's rarer than the A7 is. You see more A7s. Just when you see it, you think, oh, that's just the A7. But it may be a RS7. But it's different. It's just like my truck, the uh -huh. Infiniti truck. Yep. The, the FX, that's the FX45. Uh -huh. So you see a lot. You may see that truck a lot, but you don't see that one. That's a 45 that has a V8 under the hood. So if I go up in a race against the FX35, I'm eating them up uh -huh. because they have V6s under the hood. Now, they're still fast, but mine is faster. So it's because the, the, the FX35 have a Nissan 350Z engine uh -huh. dropped inside of them. Now, mine is a 350Z engine dropped inside of it on steroids. Okay. So that's the difference. That's that's pretty much comparing what the A7 and the RS7 is. So it's uh -huh. more if you if you're a more speed guy, you uh -huh. want speed and not just the look. That's that's what it is. Okay. So I don't know. I give you that because the the Bentley. I, I love the Bentley Continental mm -hmm. GT. Now I'm gonna pick on uh on maintenance side. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with the RS7. I choose I, easier to maintain. Yes, yeah. much easier. Yeah. The Bentley Continental. GT is like ridiculous, man. Uh -huh. You got that is, it, it, and and I hear a lot of horror stories on them, like a lot of horror stories on on, on trying to maintain those cars and stuff. So if on, on a on a smart level, and this is me saying thinking smart on cars, I would probably go with the RS7 over the Bentley Continental. But it's just something about a Bentley Continental GT when you I'm pull just, it up, just, it's different. It's just the name, you know what I'm saying? When you see that logo and you see that car pull up, it's like everybody knows. Everyone knows what it is. And you just imagine that shit just look beautiful on the inside. Yeah, man. And then you think about it. When somebody sees my RS7, just as they see my Infiniti FX45, they're gonna, gonna see, look crazy. They're gonna be like, oh, oh, it's just, oh, it's just, that's just the A7. 
but I spent 20, 30 grand more for this, for to have this V8 in here. Uh -huh. But it's, I wish that's probably just the A7. You know, so I, I understand. So where, where you go? You go Bentley? You go Bentley over the RS7? Let me look. Let me just double check. He gonna do some spec. He gonna do some spec. I say Bentley. Thing. You say Bentley? Yeah. Yeah, I go RS7. Uh -huh. I go RS7. Now, off. If money was not an object and not an issue, nah, bro. I would choose RS7. RS7. This bitch mean, bro. It's mean. It's mean. Man. Uh, I'm, now, you it's know, mean. yeah, you guys know. You, you know, get the car all right, color. What about prices? That's, prices? That's 113. Bentley say 2. Mm hmm. Bentley. And, that's, mm -hmm. and now this is another thing. Uh -huh. This is why I go smart. If I said, if I was just thinking smart, uh -huh. I'd go Audi because then I go to RS7 because. Not when that, but when depreciation hits, uh -huh. depreciation doesn't hit that RS7 as hard as the Bentley does. Uh -huh. Because, okay, right now, I'm looking at both of them right now. I'm looking at that, the Porsche Panamera. Like you can resell an RS7 quicker than you can the Bentley. You can. Yeah. So I've been looking at the RS7, I've been looking at the Bentley Continentals, and I've been looking at the Porsche Panamera. Uh -huh. These are the cars that I'm, that's really up in the CLS. I would choose the Porsche over all of them. The CLS. And that's where I'm kind of leaning yeah. more, too. Yeah. But the, C the CLS... I've been talking about the CLS as well. So, this is the thing. Okay, you've seen the price tags on those, right? Yep. The Bentley Continental right now, older model I've been looking at, I've been able to find it with good mileage on it for like 38 grand. Uh -huh. And now you've seen what the price tag was on that when it was brand new. Yeah. And I'm able to find the RS7 with the same amount of mileage on it for around the same price. Mm -hmm. And now you've seen the price tag on that. So, it's like depreciation kills that car, the Bentleys, and RS7 is kind of still holding its value up. You know, okay. better better than that. It's Any foreign cars right now are getting killed right now by depreciation. Only thing that's really holding value, and if it's foreign, is Hondas, Toyotas. The cars is like mm -hmm. good on gas and shit. Mm -hmm. Like, but like foreign, foreign Benzes and everything, they're taking a hard hit on depreciation right now because no one wants to buy them because no they they under the yes. elon musk act uh -huh. they saving they want to save they money to save, save the world money, save gas. all that they ain't trying to spend a whole ton of money on a damn luxury car when they can get like a, a honda that look just as luxurious as a you know what i'm saying as a fucking audi or something yeah so i choose i choose rs7 mm -hmm. you choose bentley kind of rs7 you say yeah, rs7 yeah now that i'm more knowledgeable about it, then I'll definitely choose the RS7. You choose RS7. Now, now that was me being the the smart buyer. Uh -huh. Now, if money was no object, you get the Bentley. I'm getting Bentley. Yeah. And I'm not. What? I had to roll him up.